Hi everybody and welcome. I have these little pocket squares, um, pr prayer things that I like to show you how to make. They're really simple and easy. Um, they have a little uh, cross in the inside of them. And uh, let me turn this light on and see if it's any better. <coughs> uh, excuse my voice, I just had a two discs replaced in my neck and my throat sore from the surgery. They're little crosses that are inside these little uh, two by two squares and it has a prayer attached to it. I'm going to show you how to make these. They're really super simple and fast. I'm going to give these. I want to go back to the girls um, that was there for my surgery when I have to go back for my checkup. So what you're going to need is you're going to need um, two pieces of, let me find what I'm going to use here. Uh, I'm trying to find something that I want to use. I'll do these ones and these ones. All right, so you're going to need uh, two pieces that are an inch and a half by three inches. You'll need two of those. And then you'll need uh, two pieces that are uh, two and a half by two and a half. And one is going to be like a, a batting. If you don't want to use the, uh, two pieces, you don't have to. Some I did, some I didn't. Uh, so we'll do these ones and we're going to put together. And they don't have to mix, they don't have to match. Um, there's no rhyme or reason to them. It's just using up all your all your um, stash that you got. So what you do is you'll take the two strips that are an inch and a half by three inches, and we're going to sew down one side. Back stitch. I just got a quarter of an inch seam allowance, and then. You're going to press this open. I'm just going to finger press it for now, but normally I do the uh, iron. I can finger press it good enough. So now it should look like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this on our thing, our mat, and it should be three by, you know, three. And we're going to cut this at an inch and a half this down a little bit so I get a right measurement. So I'm going to cut this at an inch and a half and that's going to give us our four squares. So now we have two pieces out of that three uh, and a half by inch and a half and we're just going to take those we're going to turn them so the colors are going to be opposite of each other and we're going to put them together it's um this is how you can make like a quilt or anything doing these same squares you can do bigger ones now we're just going to sew these two together this goes together really fast and i'm going to uh, get my iron going because I forgot to turn on and now it should look like this the four little squares together let me plug this iron in real quick because we will need it again uh, hurts to bend down I'm supposed to be wearing my collar but it hurts the incision so I'm not doing it now what you're going to do is what piece that you want to be your back is going to be face up like this and then if you want an inner piece a batting or anything you can put another piece on here so and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna stitch a little bit here all the way around all the way around all the way around and a little there and we're gonna leave an opening uh, for it so that we can uh, turn it
And then if I got the, some of my bottoms are a little bit bigger, so I just trim off the excess because I don't want to go through the problem. I want, I've got a bunch of them there, the right, but I want to. If you have some hangover, just trim off the excess. Don't get your stitch. And then this didn't catch on the bottom. I went too. Try to get the seam too close sometimes. I just want to make sure it's sealed. So now we got the little square, and all we do is go in here and turn this inside out. These are really fast to make. I just used a little dowel rod to get my corners out. Um, now you take a cross and you put the cross in there. You take this over to the ironing board and press this so that you'll have a good little seam like that. So let me press that real good. That way it'll stay in place when we uh, sew it. Okay, so now we got our little quilt square and we got our cross in there you just got to be careful when you uh, sew that you don't get your cross on your needle or, or you're going to bust it these are quick and easy to make these would make great craft fair things too that cross I want to push it up and away from my needle this is how fast these things are to make just tip our strings off they got the little cross in there, and it has the little prayer that says, This pocket prayer quilt was made especially for you to slip in your pocket throughout the day when your fingers touch the cross inside the quilt. Be mindful of God's love and grace for you. Keep it as tangible symbol of God's peace. And well, there's a picture of the card if you want to snapshot it you can print it out because I don't know how to uh, download it but then there's our little quilt and it's on the back and it just got the little pocket it's got the little cross in there it's super easy to make it only takes a couple minutes I've made uh, quite a few of them already uh, just sitting here I can't work very long at once because it's killing my neck but I'm just making a bunch of these for the girls and I'm gonna um, do some for the craft fair but I think there was like seven or eight nurses I had and I want to make them something um, they were really good to me when I was there I got the crosses at Amazon a hundred of them for six dollars they're little tiny mini crosses they're maybe let's see they're one inch long by a half an inch wide and they're whoops they're they're perfect size for this it only took two days to get them I didn't think I was going to get them for a while but they came really fast so then all you would do is you take one of your cards um, and I wish that I could know how to shrink this down to like two inches because then it would fit perfect on the back but it's just a little bit bigger you can use paper so it can be folded up, but I thought I wanted something that would last longer for somebody to have if they wanted to carry it in their their purse or their wallet. And then I just bought a bunch of these little gold pens, and you pen the card and the pack, the prayer thing right together. And you have the perfect little gift with the quilt, and then you turn it over, and, and it has the prayer on the back. 
So thank you very much for watching. I hope that you will try it. They're really fun and simple and easy.